This is set number 76914, the Ferrari 812 Competizione. Not really sure how to say the name of the car, but it sure is a cool set, so let's open it up. The inside of the box is pretty normal with an absolutely enormous sticker sheet. That's something you get to know with these Speed Champions cars. Their sticker sheet is at least 20 every single time, and you can really see that with the finished build by how many stickers are on it. Now, to be granted, all these are not stickers. The headlights, for example, are actually prints, which is really cool, and I think the stickers in this set overall do improve the design, although a lot of them are very painful to apply, but it does get you that really nice stripe down the middle. All of that stripe is made out of stickers. Now this car is part of the Speed Champion singles line, and over the past few years LEGO has increased the size of those cars. As you can see, this is one of the older ones, and this is the newer one. Now to be fair, the older one did come in a two-pack set, but I do think that the singles from back then were the same size as the two-packs. But you can really tell the difference by how much detail they were able to pack into this car. The exterior design also has some very cool angles, like these curved pieces on the side that give it some really sports car-esque angles. I'm very impressed by what they did here. The interior of the car is really simple, but still really nice. It has space for two minifigs, and there's some nice printing for the headrests. It is very easy to put the minifigure in there. You just take the windshield off and plop them in. Now, the minifigure in the set is very basic. Even for a Speed Champions minifigure, I think this guy is kind of boring. He does have a unique torso print, but other than that, he's just pretty basic. No printed legs, only one head print, but he does come with hair, so that's nice, I guess. And of course, he comes with a wrench. Yippee. There isn't much to see on the other side of the car, except this very cool use of the stud shooters for exhaust pipes. I think that looks really cool. Never seen like Lego use these for anything except stud shooters, but I think they look really good here. So overall, I think this set is very good. The quality and the detail on these Speed Champion sets have just really improved over the past few years, so I would definitely recommend this one. The only big issue with it is the amount of stickers and the minifigure could be a little more interesting, but other than that, it is a car and it rolls, so I think it checks all the boxes.